Hello everyone and welcome to another Gamer Slice Impressions video. I gotta tell you man, this is the year for betas. Like I have done so many betas at the beginning of this year and even even a few uh, last year like Star Wars Battlefront won't be one of them but this is definitely year for beta so what do I think of the Uncharted 4 open beta or stress test as they called it well first of all mainly the reason they did this was not so much for the feedback they did they did want people's feedback as well but it was really just to test the stress of their servers and apparently they actually did go down um, almost immediately after they went up and but they got that fixed pretty soon although I think I was on the tail end of it because like some stats in the game weren't uh, doing stuff correctly and I couldn't unlock weapons and all that so not really sure what was going on there but it was probably related to that so first of all I did not play Uncharted 3 I've played un a ton of Uncharted 2 multiplayer though but I did not play Uncharted 3's multiplayer I played the campaign and the co-op something but I did not play their PvP multiplayer so I may not be the best person to speak on comparison since uh, I've heard that a lot of stuff came over from Uncharted 3 to this one but, for one, Uncharted 4's multiplayer, though, it is really smooth, really responsive, it runs at 60 FPS, and, I mean, it's just really, really well polished. And it looks really good for a multiplayer, too. The graphics are amazing. Uh, so it's 5 versus 5. They only had Team Deathmatch available in the beta, so I don't know as far as what other modes are going to be in there. But the first thing I noticed when I jumped in is that the gun recoil just it feels really realistic. So rather than having see most games when to simulate recoil, if it's a third person shooter or even if it's a first person shooter, the gun's crosshairs just kind of spread apart to simulate the fact that oh your bolts are being less accurate. Well in Uncharted 4's multiplayer and obviously in the main game as well, the crosshair actually bounces around a little bit depending on the weapon and it bounces to different degrees. So uh You'll see, you'll see that in the gameplay, but it is probably the best recoil simulation I've ever seen in, in a game. Now, similar to Uncharted 3, it does have, like, items. I haven't, as I said, I haven't played it, but I know there was, like, some sort of, like, items, like, in-game store items. I don't know if it worked the same way. But in Uncharted 4, there's, like, uh, slots that you can use other than your, your primary and secondary weapons. You have the mystic slot, heavy weapon slot, sidekicks, and gear. And you can interchange them. You could have uh, all sidekick slots if you want, or you could have all mysticals in your slot, or all heavy, you know, you can customize that however you want. And uh, the gear slots are just like throwables and everything like that. But I found sidekicks and mystic, a couple of the mystics seem to be the most useful. But. I would, at first I saw like the Wrath of El Dorado, which is one of the most powerful mystics. And at first I was like, oh, this is going to be so difficult for them to balance. But after playing with it a while, yes, it is very powerful and it can be like, uh, you know, in a small fight, it can it can definitely change the the tide of the fight. But it like does it's not active for very long and you can like easily evade it. Plus it does cost quite a bit and to make things worse, I don't, or to make things so you can't just keep calling in a single item. Every single time you use one of these things, whether it be mystics, heavy weapons, sidekicks, or gear, uh, like cooldown, you have to, uh, you, well, the gear, the gear, yeah, it's just cooldown, but it goes up in price, so it costs more each time. And this is in game money that you earn from, you know, getting kills and whatnot. So another cool addition to Uncharted 4 is the rope swing, and this provides uh, quite a few good moments. It seems like like every map so far has quite a few points you can rope swing on. Some of them are not the best places, but you can like jump down on top of enemies and get like one hit melee kills, and it's really exhilarating when you can do that, especially when you do like something awesome and you do it like right after they land. Or... So that is a really cool feature, and it's also fun to shoot from it as well. But most of the time, you can try shooting from it you're gonna die. But the rope uh, grapple also serves as a way of me melee attack. You can hold down the button and charge it up and it's a one hit melee attack. Otherwise it's like three hit at, with an enemy at full health if you're just doing normal melee. And the weapon variety in the game is pretty pretty decent. I mean it's not hugely expansive but for the type of multiplayer that Uncharted is I think it's, it's very much more based on the skill uh, just just pure skill for the most part. Uh, I think Uncharted 2's was the best at that because like it's still based on skill quite a bit even though they have these in the game store items but they can help a bit. They can change the tide of battle just a, a, a slight bit. But the weapons I think there's a decent variety for what they what they have and the uh, the 
customization slots, your your weapon loadouts, they work on a loadout point system where you know you have so many loadout points and certain items cost so many loadout points and you have like you have 25 so you can fill up to 25 and after that that's it uh, and, I, and I actually like that when they started doing that in games a lot of games like it was I think it was one of the Call of Duties I think Modern Warfare 3 or like Black Ops I think it was Modern Warfare 3 was the first one to do it and I actually uh, like that system but or maybe it was Black Ops 2 it might have been Black Ops 2 but it's actually a pretty nice system and I, I'd like to see it in more games uh, which they seem to be doing now the perks in Uncharted 4 though, they're mostly crap, but the store items kind of work to balance that out since they're 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 pretty good. Uh, like they, you know, they're good enough. They kind of make up for bad perks. Although it would be nice to see a couple better perks. So finally, it comes down to to game modes. Now I spent about. I'd say probably 10 hours, well not 10 hours, probably spent about 6 to 8 hours playing the multiplayer and they only give you team deathmatch and 3 maps, so 1 mode, 3 maps and it started getting a little bit repetitive, I still had fun up to the end but towards like the last couple hours it was like, uh, I might I might not play it to, to, to the end but I played it almost to when the beta went offline, constantly, but I'm curious what other game modes it will have in it and whether or not it, it survives and, and keeps going for a long time, which Uncharted 2 seemed to seem to go for a long time. It's all going to depend on if these other game modes are interesting enough and if they can you know, keep up the player count. I would say for this type of game though, they should go with a fairly limited number of modes. Like, don't go too many, but you got to have enough. So really they hopefully they worked on and they still are working on fleshing out the, the modes and maybe launching the game if they want to add modes later that's fine but just start out with maybe five or six really solid modes don't add too many don't split the community up too much uh, especially I hate it when they have trophies related to that although uncharted I don't think will have multiplayer trophies so to end this off I would say this is a must buy on the PS4, if, if not just for the single player alone and almost just for the multiplayer, although I wouldn't recommend for either one of the two, I wouldn't recommend paying $60, but as a combination I think they're definitely going to be worth a $60 purchase, Naughty Dog seems to be working really good on it. And about the delay real quick, the main reason for it, I think, I'm, I'm all for, I'm okay with the delay. Because, like, hey, it's going to be... But it's not related to game development. But I think they might use that extra time for game development. The main reason is manufacturing to get a worldwide release and get it on enough discs. So, that's pretty much it. But I will add one more thing. I know the secret to winning every match in this game. What you got to do... Everybody on your team has to pick the same character at the beginning. If you do that, you win every match. It's been tried and true, tested, works every time for me. So... That's the secret to winning, you guys. And I hope to see you guys in the Uncharted 4 multiplayer. I'll definitely be playing that quite a bit when it comes out. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. And stay tuned for the first impressions videos coming up in the next couple days.